Well, good morning. I lit the first of the Advent candles for the first week of Advent, and I'm going to have my breakfast and do my morning devotion. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. Today I'm going to focus my attention here in the kitchen. I'm going to move my Christmas dishes out so they're more easily accessible and put the everyday dishes away for a month. And then I'm going to tweak the top of the china cabinet and kind of decide if I want to put some other things up as well. So let's get going. So one of my missions yesterday was to see if I could find the replacement bulbs for these two Swedish candlesticks that I had gotten. Um, the store I went to, McGuckin Hardware, in the past has sold the candle holders as well as the replacement bulbs, but when I talked to them, um, they haven't been able to get them for a couple of years. I was glad I went anyway because she told me when I, that I can get them online, but that I need to make sure I put in how many candles are on it because if it has seven candles, the lamps are a different voltage than the ones that are five, and I would have ordered the wrong ones. So, um, I've got those on order. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put them, but I would at least like to have them so that next year I can do it. But when the cat knocked it over, they just went out immediately. So, a dilemma. I've got this big plastic spool from the lights from the Christmas tree Gosh, it just looks like I should really be able to do something with it. It's really bulky. There's no recycle symbol on it, so it's trash. Um, but gosh, I just keep thinking there should be something I can do with that. So if you have any ideas, let me know in the comment section below. I have this little set of Norwegian wooden birds. So I'm gonna go ahead and hang that up. I'm gonna put it here on this little end wall hopefully high enough to be out of reach of kitties. It's just a small little thing, but I really love it. I had given it to my mom and uh, then it came back to me after she passed away. I'm trying to decide whether to put this out on the table, but as you saw with my morning tea, I put out a section of Advent candles and I picked up this beautiful juniper garland um, at McGuckin yesterday probably paid way more money than I should have for it, but I was really looking for a bit of greenery there, and I'd been to several stores and couldn't find anything, so I got that done. And then I have this old nativity set, and it's white, so it goes really well with my decor. And I think that I would like to take that and put it in place of this. Pin. Mr. Pin sitting next to two pots of paper whites. So about every five to seven days I try to do a new pot. So I did these last week right before I got back, went on my trip. And I did this one um, the day after I got back. And then probably Sunday or Monday I'll do another one. So I'll keep doing them. I have lots of containers. And I think I bought 25 or 30 bulbs, so I've got enough to have at least four or five pots. And that way, I'm going to have continuous bloom from about Christmas on into January. And I love having that greenery and the flowers. It's just one of the things that really makes my heart glad. While we're looking at plants, look at this geranium. I brought these in from outside, cleaned them up, repotted them, and they have just bloomed like crazy. They didn't bloom like that outside all summer long, but they've really been amazing. I have a bag of potting mix here because I was going to repot my Christmas and Thanksgiving cactus, but as you can see, it's blooming and that's not the time to replant them. So I guess I'll wait till spring. Added this little sign up here We'll see how long it takes before Mr. Mooshu 
knocks it off. One of our favorite new traditions that we've started is we do an annual cookie baking. Last year we did an exchange since we couldn't get together in person, but I think I'm going to sort of prepare for that. I'm not sure when we're doing it yet. And I think I'm gonna take this little bowl. This is my, my Mouseman bowl from England. And it was a wood carver. He's, he carved a mouse into everything he did. I think that's a good bowl to put my Christmas cookie cutters in. I got rid of so many. And just tried to keep the ones that I like the most. So, let's see how we can assemble that so it looks a bit festive. So, I also have this little tray, and I thought it would be cute to I put Mr. Mouseman on there. And then some of the other decorating things some sprinkles and sanding sugar. I have lots of these. I have this stand here in the kitchen and it has all my oil painting supplies but I'm not painting a lot right now so maybe I'll put that away and I'll put set up the cookie decorating stuff over there. I think that would be a good spot for it. Look at that. I have my bowl of clementines and of course I have a chocolate orange as a treat. Christmas tree cookie jar, Christmas hot holders, and then my favorite corner. Over here, my tea corner. Love waking up and coming to that spot and having everything right there. Just so pretty. I'm really happy with how this is turning out.